Hello and welcome to my little Lego corner where I've this week been fiddling with the Viking Village set. And this is by far the best play set I've gotten from Lego. Meaning it is the easiest to add just a few buildings or minifigs and you can make any number of stories. Maybe you can add some zombies. Or you know, you know what's worse than zombies? Fashionable zombies. Or, or you know what's even worse than fashionable zombies? Old fashionable zombies. But it doesn't have to be zombies, it could be stormtroopers, which you might think is an unfair fight, you know, lasers against swords and axes, but then you have to remember, it's stormtroopers. You know, they couldn't hit water if they fell off a boat. But like I said, you could have any monster or ghoul here and you could entertain a child or a child at heart for at least like four or five minutes. Unless this metaphorically inner child is a bit slow. The Viking Village is a fan-made set, meaning some random German guy built this and uploaded it to the LEGO website and got over 10,000 votes and then they made it into a real set. And I love that LEGO does this. I mean, it means that anyone can upload a set and it can get released. Well, maybe not anyone. You'll need that thing people always say I have none of. Oh yeah, talent. The Viking Village set is made up of three parts, the good, the bad and the ugly. I mean, the blacksmith, the great hall and lookout post. And it took me about eight hours to build. Yeah, I know, I'm a bit slow. I also turned the Viking Village into a Viking church, which I had real difficulties filming and capturing for you guys. And, and maybe if you turn your head on the side. I promise I'll figure it out later in the video. No, we won't. But before we all go to church, I'm going to have a review of the Viking set, starting with the lookout post. Which I just love the composition of the boardwalk and the suspension bridge here, the towers and just everything about it. But what I love most about it is these rock stairs here, leading up to the garrison or, or the tower house. You may not be able to appreciate it by look, but if you build it, you can really appreciate how it's put together sideways, upways and, and every other way. It's just beautiful. The inside just got a pumpkin because why not and a ladder up to the suspen suspension bridge. Ooh, that's difficult to say. I also like this easy access built into it. And of course, these fish sucking on sticks. Who doesn't like fish sticks? I'm not quite sure why these barrels can be flipped into the sea. Maybe it's to fool the Swedes. The roof is, is not shown because it's very impressive. I just like how this technique with the bendy bits is used as a roof because that's how I still make roofs as a semi-newbie. I mean, my roofs, they're either flat or a worse version than this. I especially like the shades they put over the windows here, which I didn't show properly because I also couldn't decide if I like this claw or witch's nose as a corner holder. I'm not, I'm not against it, but I'm not really for it either. Like the suspension bridge. I wouldn't have it without it. But the tension is very, very sus. Finally, we have a look at the back, which got this cave built into it. And, and a cave is a great place for hiding treasure. And, and you know what? I think we're in luck. It looks like the Vikings have brought something back from the last tucked. Let's have a look what... Oh, it's Santa's head. I'm just going to put this back where I found it and move on. Are you ready? Glad over that, like, didn't potentially traumatize half the audience. Shh, of course I am. These Vikings are crazy. I love this blacksmith. You know, the the, the fire and, the, and the, anything interactable is, and I'm sold. Especially love all the extras you get with the blacksmith, like the swords and the shields and helmets and whatnot. The rock rune is pretty cool. I think it's printed as well. Extra points for that. I also can't decide why this tree randomly can be added to the side of the build, like like this. Extra points for the horns over the windows here. And overall, generally, I, I like the blacksmith. It's the worst one of the all, but I like it. Moving on to the Great Hall, which is which is all right. I mean, it's not really great. It's too small to be considered great, but it definitely looks good. And I especially do like how this roof just fits perfectly onto the just one second, and yeah, it just fits absolutely perfectly onto the side of the hall. But let's have a closer look at the roof because I don't know about you, but that's where I definitely need to improve. And this roof seems to be made of, or is made of, this clip-on technique with this mini house built on top with two hard-ons of wood for balance. Again, I'm verified in my 2x2 two two bends in making roofs, but I definitely need to explore more clip-on possibilities and keep my eye out for some hard wood. And here's the inside of the roof to see how these bricks are perfectly balanced to place on top of the walls and the halls. And to quickly have a come inside and have a look at the throne, a chicken leg and fire, sword and shields, swords and shields. I don't mind the back entrance either. Moving on to the church. Amen, brother. Well, I can't really call it church because, well, I don't really know what the Vikings call their house of worship. And also, they had a few to choose from. I mean, God didn't have monopoly back then. So I think that's why I just kept adding floors because I just couldn't decide who to attribute it to. But I'll let you know once we reach the top who are settled on. As you can see, the front is pretty much the doors and the walls from the hall. And I knew I wanted a chimney to go up the top of the back of the building. 
this little pond was a happy little mistake. I'm not quite sure how successful I was with that, but I still think this is one of the best things I've ever made. Now I know all the windows and sides aren't really symmetrical, but I wanted it to look built up or, or just natural I guess, and I thought I also just wanted to try different styles to see if that made the look or what would happen if I did. Now I may have gone a little bit overboard with some of the decor, the croissants and the colors, but what can I say, I like a bit of color in my builds. Finally, the North God which I've attributed this tower to is Thor, the God of Thunder. And Thursdays, I think. Why? Well, it was easier to build a hammer than it was to build two ravens. And also, I used to love this book when I was a kid. It's about Thor. Kind of. Now for my big reveal surprise, I actually, this is a modular build, it can be taken apart. And um, all you have to do is just remove these three pieces and hopefully it can come off. Now, I didn't test this at all. I mean, midway building the first floor, I kind of tested if I could take it out and, and I thought if I just had to remove this one little piece here, I could slide it off. So I'm excited to see if this will actually work. As you can see, I'm taking it very slow. This is sped up like 200 times, but it actually comes off and now I can really call this a modular build. And not only that, I even built some decor inside, which I normally really don't do. And it's really simple, it's just some tables and chairs and some stuff on the walls. But like I said, this is definitely the best build I have ever made so far, which is which is good because every build you should make should be the best one because it means you're getting better. But yeah, that'll be it for me this time as always. Thank you really much for watching. Please do press the like and subscribe buttons if you're still here because that really helps me. And as always, you have a lovely day and I'll see you later. Cheers, bye. What is this you've brought home, Ingolf? They're called bananas, dear. You eat it like an apple. How much did you pay for that? Sven, you sold my firstborn for these yellow thingies. A few. There's like 18 crates here. Where did you leave my son? I don't know. Some place called Tititi. Trust me, he's much happier there. Now help me unload these bananas.